you so long, man. Oh, no waiting I for you. I couldn't tell you, man. I couldn't tell you. How's it feel to be back? Oh, it feels good, man. You know, I think I'd be lying if I didn't say this process was frustrating. Um, and you know, after what I feel like I've been able to accomplish, but you know what? Uh, I'm really, really proud and happy to be a Viking. So I'm happy to be back, man. Ready to get back to work. Uh, been here four days. I've visited all my spots, man. I've been to Kindred Hearth. I've been to Matt's Bar. I've been to Tono's Cheesesteaks already. So I'm hitting all my favorite spots. It's good to be back, man. Excited to help the team. So you just stay focused on the Viking the same time? Oh, well, you know, when you enter free agency, you know, I'm at the point in my career where um, I haven't got that deal yet. I haven't got that contract yet. So you enter free agency, and you know that you know. I knew that the Vikings loved me as a player and as a human being. But um, everyone's got needs, and everyone's got to go and fill certain spots. Um, and it's one of those processes that last year was frustrating. This year, again, it was frustrating. Uh, like I mentioned before, with what I feel like I was able to accomplish last year, and uh, I don't have the most answers for the process. To be honest with you guys, um, I got to control what I can control. Um, I'm in the same situation I was when I showed up last year, and that's to come help this football team. And of course, you know, we all wish that sometimes the situation would be different, um, and we could, maybe I could have got more out of the free agency process. But I'm still going into year six of the NFL, which is a blessing. Hey, don't last year you waited uh, to sign. Is there a reason you decided to sign in May or June? Uh, I love this organization. I love the Vikings. Um, uh, I think it's a respect deal. There's no reason to to, to wait out a team that you know had an offer on the table. And um, to be honest with you, I wasn't getting much action anywhere else. So uh, I wanted to play in the NFL. I wanted to get here earlier than September. That way, I knew where to go eat, knew where to get my pads. I wasn't drinking water through a fire hose. I'm already late to the game, and uh, I just think it's one of those things that. Uh, I want the league to know that you know I want to play football. This is I don't want to be two years in a row where I'm waiting out to the last second. So, so hopefully more of a statement from my end. You know, hopefully letting the Vikings know how serious I am about helping their football team this year. And last year you came in, they already had an established starting line. What kind yeah. of role do you see for yourself this year? Uh, you know, I'm running with the twos again, just like I was whenever I showed up last year. And uh, you got great guards in Ed Ingram and Blake Brando. So I'm going to help push those guys, make them great. Um, wherever the coaches put me is where they put me. And, where they let the chips fall where they may, man. You know, you, you can't really have a mindset of where do I expect to be when you show up. You got to have, in my opinion, more of a mindset of how can I be a great teammate? How can I continue to earn the respect of this football team around me? How can I make the most of this opportunity? How can I become better as a football player? And that's what I got to do each and every day. The rest of it, it's going to sort itself out. Itself out. Uh, whether I'm on the right side, left side, what team I'm working with, no matter what, that stuff will fall where it may, bro. Yep. Uh, you know, I don't really ask very many of those questions uh, with, the, with the type of contract that I signed. I think that I'm in the spot that they expected me to be in. Come in, I'm working with the twos right now. Um, help make these guys great. Help push these guards because we've got great guards on this football team. Um, and be that guy when called upon. I'll be ready to go. You guys saw that last year. You know, it was. I showed up the second week of September. I was starting against the 49ers on Monday night. Two weeks to learn the, the, the playbook and get ready. And I was ready to go. So they know the type of cat they have in me, man. Um, it's Nothing's changed there. So I don't need to ask those questions because whatever they need me to do, I'm ready to roll. Right tackle, left guard, center, tight end, wide receiver, you name it. You know what I mean? I'm ready to rock. You talked about your favorite local restaurant. Yeah. What was the first spot you stopped at? The first spot, Taco Libre. Great, great joint, man. Oh my gosh. I get a mega quesadilla. They got a little salsa bar, horchata. And then Tono's cheesesteaks and pizza, dude. I get the South Philly, two over easy eggs, some bacon, caramelized onion, green peppers on a bed of french fries? Come on, dog. And then I wrap off the day at Kindred Hearth with a couple of soy eggs on my Caesar salad with a tavern pizza, hot honey, pepperoni, jalapeno. Come on. And then, uh, only place I haven't been again to yet is Nashville Coop. So I'm probably going to go there. Probably need to chill out a little bit. You know, I need to relax just a little. Um, so I'll say, yeah, yeah, you know, you got a little break in between here and camp. So yeah, screw it. I'm going to go to Nashville Coop tonight. <laughs> God bless you guys, man. Skull Vikings. Uh, it feels great, you know, coming in here in the place. Well, not for the first time because we've been out here for a little bit, but uh, some of the new installs that we're getting, hearing it for the first time, hearing it from the quarterback instead of a coach or reading it from a script and then going out there and be able to run it is, is huge. So uh, getting my feet wet and learning the playbook and so I can go out there and play fast. It's three quarterbacks in three years for you, no matter who the quarterback is here. Is that a lot different? Uh, no, sir. You know, I just make sure I'm on top of my game and make uh, make the game easier for the quarterback, whoever's back there. 
Um, that's what my job is and, um, you know, bring that spark and be the leader. So um, it doesn't matter who's back there. Uh, I'm still going to be the same person and do my job and do it, do it, uh, do what I need to do to help the team. Larry, do you have an ideal number of touches you want every game? Is there something in your mind that you say, I need to, you know, to, to be good? Uh, no, so, you know, you never going into it. You never know how many touches you're going to get or how many to expect. You just know when your number's called, make the most of the opportunity. Uh, try to get in the end zone as many times as you can. Obviously with JJ against him, but now sharing a field with him in practice. What was today like? Uh, today was exciting. You know, uh, I want to say congratulations to him and his family. Uh, life changing. Uh, every you know, every kid dreams of that. Uh, being able to play football and you know earn your money through playing football. Um, being able to take care of your family. So first off, congratulations to him. But uh, just watching his route running, how he's in and out of breaks, and how it's so smooth. Uh, you know, you get to see it on the sideline when you play against them, or, but you're not watching every play because you're watching the game. Um, but today I just got to kind of sit there and watch him and some of the routes that he, he runs. And um, I'm like, hey, like we may have some similar concepts where I may be running something similar to him. So just kind of watching him, watching Jordan Addison, um, both of those guys, I think they're, they're special receivers. Is it a complicated offense? Uh, no, so I wouldn't say it's too complicated uh you know i've, I've kind of came from this a similar system uh so it's it's a little different terminology but uh similar uh but i wouldn't say it's, it's too difficult it's a different language though football is a different language it's like learning a different language how similar is the version of the west coast um i would say 50 50 50 like 50 percent of it's similar 50 percent of it's different uh, and then another 25 is just different terminology, different. So just trying to regroup that, relearn that, throw out the old stuff and um, group it in with the new stuff, you know. Seven years in one spot, it's a long time to build that knowledge. Oh, 100%. But um, like you said, some of the, some of the um, concepts do overlap. So when they do, it just makes my job that much easier. What do you like about the running back game? Sharing some, some touches with Ty. Uh, Ty, he, he did a great job last year when he got his opportunity, and I know uh, he's ready for uh, ready for it. And uh, just working with him, uh, he's a great back. He can catch out of back, he can run, and uh, he, he's been picking up blitzes. Uh, so he's he's an all around back. I feel like like myself and. Um, we're just here to make each other better. Uh, we're going to bring out the best in each other. We're going to compete, but uh, at, the, at the end, we're going to be each other's biggest cheerleaders. And then um, we also have other guys in that room who, who can go as well. Miles, Kene, uh, Dwayne, uh, they can all go. And then you throw CJ in there too. You've seen him last year in there. So I feel like we got a good, good room. Um, some guys who are versatile, who can do a little bit of everything. And, and, uh, have some speed as well. What excites you most about how far this offense can go this season? Um, it, it really excites me. Um, I played with a, a number one receiver and now being here with a, a number one receiver. Um, and then two number ones, if you ask me, three number ones. Sorry, let's keep going. <laughs> you throw TJ in there. Um, it's just like, who are you going to guard? Uh, you know, you can't, OK, you want to double this guy? OK, you got three more guys out there, four more guys. So. Um, I just think the the matchups, the matchups that we can get uh, against the defense, are always pretty much going to be in our favor, um, and I, I think it's just going to be it's going to be something hard to stop. Think it be more favorable opportunities for you with all those other weapons? Oh, hundred percent. Um, I told I told JJ today. I'm like, man. Uh, I was like, I'm ready to get on the field with you. You're gonna make my job easier. And he was like, nah. You gonna make my job easier. And I was like. I guess that's what we're here for, make each other's job easier. So, you know, he's going to take some of that attention off of me, and hopefully I can do the same for him. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Check how things going out there for you so far. Oh, man, it's, it's going real good. Uh, I think I'm uh, overly excited that 1-8 uh, is back. You know, uh, he gave me one rep. I said, whoo. I said, yeah, I think we needed that. I said, I ran to the sideline, ran all the way around to the opposite side. I said, 18, thank you for being here. <laughs> I said, we're going to have some great work. So, no, it's, uh, it's been phenomenal. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. Piggybacking off that, how much juice does it bring to the rest of the team having JJ here? Oh man, it's different. You know, you got one of the, if not the best player in the, you know, in the whole league, and uh, he's on our side. You know, that's someone who I definitely rather play with than play against, and he brings a different type of energy. You know, uh, I feel like as soon as I stepped in, everybody only had great things to say about him. You know, when he comes to work, he comes to actually work. You know, he don't take no days off, and I'm the type of guy who would love to compete 
and I love the type of competition. I know going against the best receiver in the game every day is going to do something phenomenal for me. So uh, I'm super excited, and I feel like everybody else um, on this team feels the same way. On your side of the ball, what are you most excited about when it comes to Brian Flores' defense? Oh, man, I feel like I love his aggressive theme. You know, I feel like the main thing is he let me kind of do my thing and put hands on the guys, and I feel like he compared me with the right person. They got uh, me and Harry on the same side every play, and uh, I feel like me and uh, that, that old vet right there are going to do some really phenomenal things together. You know, I'm very excited. You know, uh, so I, I love the way he got going on. I love the way he putting the pieces together, putting everybody in the right spots. He's doing phenomenal right now. Thanks, Thanks for your time.